Hey, it's James from Pop Buzz. We're still back here at Slam Dunk. Look at it. This is what happened tonight alive. How are you guys? Yeah, good. Good. Really good. great. I'm very good. It's lovely to see you guys again. Thank it really you. is. Um, congrats on all the success. I guess the last time I saw you guys, you were touring the last album. Yeah. My God, it, it went well, right? You guys happy? <laughs> uh, yeah. I think you guys are pretty happy. <laughs> it went really well. It's gone all right. <laughs> new stuff coming out. Yeah, and, new, and new record label, man. This is very yeah. exciting. Congrats yeah, on you. that. That's an exciting thank move. Yeah. It's, it's really that? exciting. Yeah. So it feels real fresh. It yeah. feels like... We're starting again, we've kind of we spent a lot of time developing who we want to be, and now we've got the team that really uh, that really excites that that yeah. vision in us. So we're we're really happy, and it feels really fresh and great. So. Nice. We did big support slots and stuff as well. It feels like the new stuff's really kind of arena ready. Is that kind yeah, of what you're aiming at? Is that what you're looking for? <laughs> well, we always want a headline arena, so but yeah, I think so. It's wrong with being I just love uh, right. I love those big rock songs. And the That's kind of what came out. So. Awesome. Well, we're going to do a little game with everyone today, guys. Okay. So this is a game we play. With this is called the Pop Buzz Confession Booth. It sounds more ominous than it actually is, all right? So I've got a series of slightly embarrassing questions. Just be as honest with me as you can, all right? Okay. Just as honest with me as you can. All right, so first up, guys, what was your first ever email addresses? Uh, I think I still have... Oh, no. Yeah, don't I, say I, okay. it, still have it. Don't no, say it, still have okay. it. okay, I had a... Uh... I didn't have one, I had my brother's one, it was Volcom underscore Be Real. Oh, Be Real, I remember that, I never understood that. Be Real. Underscore Be Real. Yeah, I thought it was for ages. Anyway, mine's not that funny. Oh, is it? Yeah, it was a nickname I got when I was like 9 or 10. Like oh, okay. Yeah. That's kind of simple. One person called me that and I made it my email. Okay, fair enough. Easy to remember. That works, I guess. That's good. <laughs> uh, when was the last time you picked up some food off the floor and ate it? Uh, I dropped my cookie on the floor yesterday and I ate it. Yeah, it would definitely be recent. Okay. So, all right. Was it on like regular clean floor or are we talking in the grass here at Slam Dunk? Because that's a different uh, matter. I don't discriminate with floors, yeah, so I just let it go. As long as it's five it. second rule, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's all right. Oh, I did 10 seconds of water, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Count the 10 second rule. It makes sense. I have a great immune system. So. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, who was your first ever celebrity crush as a kid? Uh, I think it was probably um, Shakira. That video when I was just hitting puberty at the right stage. It's and, too much uh, info, mate. It's too much info. I guess Arab Carter, I feel like. Oh, wow. Jesse McCartney. Yes, I know the reference point. I think Jesse McCartney. They're definitely in that same world. Yeah, Arab Carter. He was, yeah, the boy next door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There it is. That'll work. <laughs> uh, which band are you most jealous of? We could go at the lineup here today or in jealous. general. Jealous? I'm jealous of Chris Martin in Coldplay. All right. Why? Songwriting abilities and his way of saying things without saying a lot of words. It's very, it's very apt. Yes. It's very, that's quite good. Deep. Yes. It's oh, right. it's well, very good. Always, How about you, Jeff? <laughs> Any jealousy? It can be for a stupid reason. Well, I'm, just I'm not jealous of anyone. <laughs> No, it doesn't have to be so me. I'm not, I just it don't know. Like, so so it could be like, oh, Hayley Williams has nice shoes or something like that, you know. I don't know. I mean, Alanis Morissette's like my idol, so I, I love yes, her. And I, I mean, I would, I'd do anything to follow her for sex, I guess. To be able to collab one day, it's going to happen. Uh, what's your most embarrassing fashion choice you've ever made? Um, <laughs> oh, can I answer for you? Good. That, the straight fringe that wasn't haircut. embarrassing for me. That was me. embarrassing for me. <laughs> Man, that's well, I had, uh, I Dude. had, I had a. Oh, I don't care. It's been, it's We're witnessing the breakup of tonight live on camera. <laughs> it's funny. Right they keep it real. Uh, I had a straight an emo fringe. That was pretty good. I had that for a while. Oh, my mustache. That was bad. Well, that was real bad for a long time. It's very dirty. Yeah, it was disgusting. Yeah, it was when the word came out, and oh, yeah. I love Yolani's like bangs or fringe. Yeah. yeah. And I, I did it. Nobody supported it. But, but you stuck with it. I did. And that was what was I backed it. I look back and I think it was cool. Yeah. Good work. And um, lastly, what is the stupidest lie you've ever told? I don't want biggest. I want like the stupidest. stupidest lie? Yeah. You ever told a really, really stupid excuse for something? my brain today. I know. I'm, I'm putting oh, out to... Look, I know it's day three. Lie. I know it's been a while, <laughs> but come on. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a horrific liar. And right. Jenna knows exactly <laughs> when I lie. I, can't, I get really uncomfortable and I just keep... And I stutter and I'm like, oh, no, that's it for me. So, I don't know how <laughs> that I'm told. Well, this wasn't a verbal lie for me, but I used to sneak out because I, I felt that my parents were quite strict when I was growing up and right. my friends were all allowed to do things that I wasn't. So, there was a night I was 
are 15 years old and I, I actually created a per, like a person in my bed kind of thing with pillows and no, like hair extensions and made it a whole thing. The full Ferris Bueller like yeah. fake thing in the bed. How long did they buy it for? Oh, like an hour. Wow. So. That's actually kind of impressive. Yeah, it was, bad. it was a bad situation. <laughs> what was being, I need more details, what was being used to make this fake Jenna in the bed? Pillows and hair extensions. Fair enough. Yeah. That's all it takes, kids. If you want to sneak out to Slam Dunk Festival, <laughs> pillows and hair extensions. So, I mean, uh, well, no, it's been great to see you guys. I hate to you've had a good festival. Have a great set today. Thank you and, uh, Are you going to be back in the UK later this year, maybe? Um, not, not, this year. not this year, actually. We have some touring sad, coming. Sad to say, but. All right, some touring coming soon when the arms are. Yes. All right, tonight I've got Thank it. Thank you. you.